If you found a background you like and you want to know how to put it on your Twitter profile, this video will show you how. So in this example we're going to use the evergreen background from tweetstyle.com and you'll just go ahead and download it. You can, If you have um, Photoshop or Fireworks or one of the graphics programs, you can opt to download the layered file, which what that means is that you can edit it uh, and change it before you put it on your Twitter profile. If you want to just use it as you see it, then you can just download the, the regular ready-to-go one. So I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, I'm going to save it. Depending on what browser you are using, this option may be different. Um, but there's usually an option that says something like save target as or save linked document as, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and save it on my computer. Just make sure that you remember where you saved it. And then go to your Twitter account. Once you're logged into Twitter, um, which I'm already logged in at this point, you'll go to settings and then design and you'll scroll down here to change background image you'll pick your file and this is the one that you just downloaded and save changes if the instructions tell you to um, for a particular background if it says that it's a tiling background or a pa background pattern you'll probably end up changing um, this to, to tile background. You'll be able to tell when you look at it if you probably should or should not. If it's a very small square right there, that's probably a sign that you should be tiling it. And then additionally, on TweetStyle and a lot of the other sites that have Twitter backgrounds, um, they recommend different colors. So you'll go here to change design colors and you can double click the number um, and the letters here to highlight it and then you can either right click and choose copy or you can use um, control C on your keyboard if you're on a Windows or um, Apple C if you're on Mac. I'm going to go ahead and use the keyboard shortcuts from here on out um, and then you click here and again you can double click and paste it in Again, you can do that with your right mouse button, or you can um, use your keyboard. So, let's see, text. And you'll just do that for each one of these. And you'll notice that as you make these changes, you'll actually start to see them um, show up on your background. Twitter does that to give you kind of a preview of what it's going to look like. So for instance, this will change the sidebar from that gray to a green. And that kind of lets you see what it's going to look like before you commit to it, um, but if you are using one that's been, been provided for you, probably it's, it's going to be pretty decent to start with. So basically that's it. You just upload your image. Um, you change your colors and you're good to go. Now um, we'll look at this and you'll see it's got all the new background and um, if we look at my profile same thing. So that's all it takes. If you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.